Crystal Reason and her children live in a small home outside Hobart. <laughs> it's not ideal, but now's not the time to move. With the prices that are going at the moment, it's a bit impossible. I'm a single mum on Centrelink, so I really do struggle, but I try and just try and do the best of what I can with what I've got. She was hoping for relief for families like hers in the state budget. We know we live in very uncertain times and there will be twists and turns as we move forward. That's why we have a clear plan to secure Tasmania's future, to keep people safe and to deliver an even stronger, more diverse and resilient economy. Peter Gutwin's eighth budget needed to fund plenty of election commitments. The Liberals promised big on health and spending is up $900 million on last year. Over the forward estimates, it includes $198 million for 50 new beds, $40 million for an extra 7,000 elective surgeries, $9 million to implement voluntary assisted dying, an extra $5 million for GP after-hours services and more funding for the second stage of the Royal Hobart Hospital expansion. We don't see any additional money for keeping the doctors, the nurses and the allied health who are going to fill these additional beds. There's $4.6 billion in infrastructure spending and more than $20 million for 2,000 public houses. Education accounts for almost a quarter of the budget with an ambitious school building and upgrade program. It's a budget that talks up Tasmania's COVID recovery so far and promises to do more. Peter Gutwin is talking up his health and infrastructure spending as a way to create more than 28,000 new jobs. As part of that bid, there's $20 million over two years to address barriers to employment. The government is spending $15 million to create a new government body to encourage investment in renewables. There's more than $13 million for workforce development with construction industry groups, as well as the Hospitality Association and the Migrant Resource Centre. For businesses struggling during the pandemic, there's $1.2 million for specialist financial counselling money for travel agents and tourism. We are in the middle of a COVID bubble. We need to see a way out of that. And we'd hope the budget would have a clearer and more defined way to, to help us to live with COVID, which will be a new normal in the future. Can't breathe. For Crystal Reason, health and housing commitments are welcome, but she's unsure if the budget was written with her in mind. It's going to be a wait and see game. Um, hopefully he will fix the prices with the rentals um, and hopefully prices will start going down. It's a complex problem that affects so many. Alexandra Alvaro, ABC News.